We continue today with chapter 18, The Light in the Dream. You who have spent your life in bringing truth to illusion, reality to fantasy, have walked the way of dreams. For you have gone from waking to sleeping, and on and on to yet a deeper sleep. Each dream has led to other dreams, and every fantasy that seemed to bring a light into the darkness, but made the darkness deeper. Your goal was darkness, in which no ray of light could enter. And you sought a blackness so complete that you could hide from truth forever in complete insanity. What you forgot was simply that God cannot destroy himself. The light is in you. Darkness can cover it, but cannot put it out. As the light comes nearer, you will rush to darkness, shrinking from the truth, sometimes retreating to the lesser forms of fear, and sometimes to stark terror. But you will advance, because your goal is the advance from fear to truth. The goal you accepted is the goal of knowledge, for which you signified your willingness. Fear seems to live in darkness, and when you are afraid, you have stepped back. Let us then join quickly in an instant of light, and it will be enough to remind you that your goal is light. Truth has rushed to meet you since you called upon it. If you knew who walks beside you on the way that you have chosen, fear would be impossible. You do not know because the journey into darkness has been long and cruel, and you have gone deep into it. A little flicker of your eyelids, closed so long, has not yet been sufficient to give you confidence in yourself, so long despised. You go toward love, still hating it, and terribly afraid of its judgment upon you. And you do not realize that you are not afraid of love, but only of what you have made of it. You are advancing to love's meaning, and away from all illusions in which you have surrounded it. When you retreat to the illusion, your fear increases, for there is little doubt that what you think it means is fearful. Yet what is that to us who travel surely and very swiftly away from fear? You who hold your brother's hand also hold mine, for when you joined each other, you were not alone. Do you believe that I would leave you in the darkness that you agreed to leave with me? In your relationship is this world's light, and fear must disappear before you now. Be tempted not to snatch away the gift of faith you offered to your brother. You will succeed only in frightening yourself. The gift is given forever, for God himself received it. You cannot take it back. You have accepted God. The holiness of your relationship is established in heaven. You do not understand what you accepted, but you remember that your understanding is not necessary. All that was necessary was merely the wish to understand. That wish was the desire to be holy. The will of God is granted you, for you desire the only thing you ever had, or ever were. Each instant that we spend together will teach you that this goal is possible, and will strengthen your desire to reach it. And in your desire lies its complete accomplishment. Your desire is now in complete accord with all the power of the Holy Spirit's will. No little faltering footsteps that you may take can separate your desire from His will and from His strength. I hold your hand as surely as you agreed to take your brothers. You will not separate, for I stand with you and walk with you in your advance to truth. And where we go, we carry God with us. In your relationship, you have joined with me in bringing heaven to the Son of God, who hid in darkness. You have been willing to bring the darkness to light, and this willingness has given strength to everyone who would remain in darkness. 
those who would see will see and they will join with me in carrying their light into the darkness when the darkness in them is offered to the light and is removed forever my need for you joined with me in the holy light of your relationship is your need for salvation would I not give you what you gave to me for when you joined your brother you answered me you who are now the bringer of salvation have the function of bringing light to darkness the darkness in you has been brought to light carry it back to darkness from the holy instant to which you brought it we are made whole in our desire to make whole let not time worry you for all the fear that you and your brother experience is really past time has been readjusted to help us do together what your separate past would hinder you have gone past fear for no two minds can join in the desire for love without love's joining them not one light in heaven but goes with you not one ray that shines forever in the mind of God but shines on you heaven is joined with you in your advance to heaven when such great lights have joined with you to give the little spark of your desire the power of God himself can you remain in darkness you are coming home together after a long and meaningless journey that you undertook apart and that led nowhere you have found your brother and you will light each other's way and from this light will the great rays extend back into the darkness and forward unto God to shine away the past and so make room for his eternal presence in which everything is radiant in the light and from the workbook lesson review 143 my mind holds only what I think with God in quiet I receive God's Word today all that I give is given to myself Amen